Welcome to Flashback Tracks. Travel back in time each Friday to an era of big hair, leg warmers, and Walkmans. Far out. Veg out with some clips from Downtime Broadcasting's promotional audio cassette magazine from the 80s and 90s, right here on the World Wide Web. Time. Have you ever stopped to figure out how much time you really have in which to sell? How long is your actual selling day, your actual selling week, month, and year? Every sales professional, after receiving their first commission check or two, realizes that it's not the total time you work, but the total selling time that really counts. First, we must define true selling time as the amount of time during which you have contact with a buyer. It can be either across the desk at a meeting or on the telephone. Traditionalists would exclude telephone selling time. However, if your product or service can in fact be sold, actually sold over the phone, then telemarketing is appropriate to count as bona fide sales time. With 365 calendar days in a year, let's deduct all the two-day weekends. and We're left with a business day year of 261 days. Now deduct vacation, say, three weeks or 15 business days. You have 246 days in which to sell remaining. How about holidays, when either you're off or the clients are all closed? These are days you can't make sales calls, even though you're willing. Well, you've already lost one-third of the 365, and now you're down to 238 days. Let's turn this into hours. 238 days times 10 hours? Okay, let's use 10 working hours in your day. We'll assume you're working in some way or another from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and we're not going to count nights you work real late. Why not? Because it would be difficult for you to see most customers at 10 p.m. And remember, in this exercise, we're trying to analyze true selling time. 238 times 10 equals 2,380 hours available for selling per year. Taking away two days per month, and that's a low number, for trade shows, sales conferences, meetings with reps or suppliers, totals 240 hours more off your selling year. Net result, 2,140 hours left. Next, we calculate the hours lost while in the territory, say an hour a day to cover lunch, getting gas, running around on personal business. That'll cost you 214 hours per year, leaving only 1,926 hours. Now let's deduct traveling time. We'll use two and a half hours as an average. It may be a bit high or low for you, but it is your total downtime in the car or on the bus, in the cab or on the train. That's 535 hours of territorial traveling, leaving you a net amount of annual selling hours of 1,391. Now, you know, we have to pull out all the time you spend on paperwork, reports, proposals, order writing, and all that other administrative stuff. Let's say an hour and a half per day. That's another 321 hours gone. Sad to say, you're down to only 1,070 hours. Well, we can nickel and dime these figures down and down, but there is one other major area of non-productive selling time you spend each day. How about the time in the lobby waiting to be seen, or the time in the phone booth, or broken dates, or even the wasted time with wrong prospects? We'll take off less than a half an hour per day, or 100 hours, and we've got 970 selling hours in the year. Why bother with this exercise? Well, you figure it out. If you wanted to achieve gross sales of $250,000 in a year based upon our calculations, then you'd have to average nearly $258 in sales per selling hour. That brings us to these points to ponder. First, be sure you don't waste time on accounts too small to make you the money you require. Second, plan. Plan as well as you can to spend the most time in the field. Boost your sales by getting more actual selling hours. Travel more efficiently. Organize your paperwork. Delegate if you have someone to whom to delegate. Third, don't use selling hours to do what you can do in non-selling hours. Fourth, use the mail and the telephone to ensure your buyers are well qualified or sell to them on the phone and through the mail. Fifth, make better use of your downtime. Learn, review, dictate, write, and call. And of course, listen to tapes to improve your sales skills. These are but a few things you can do as you wait to see the buyer. And finally, keep a personal log and see how many selling hours you get in a week. Travel back in time with us next Friday as we share more clips from the 80s and 90s. 
on another rad episode of Flashback Tracks, exclusively on Promo Corner. Time to bounce.